The beauty of fashion lies very much in the ever-changing shades of colors, but that's also part of the industry's ugly side. Globally, five trillion liters of water are used to dye fabric every year, enough to fill two million Olympic-sized swimming pools. The colorants that don't bind to textile fibers often end up in our waterways, causing serious environmental and health hazards. Chen Xinfu and his team hope to change that. Traditional methods use water to dye fabrics and require a huge amount of washing to clean out residual chemicals. Otherwise, your clothes would keep losing color. We've developed a recyclable, eco-friendly solvent. The dyes are fixed onto fabrics without water and are 97% effective. This eliminates washing completely. That's why it's groundbreaking. Chen says previous international studies in waterless dyeing showed promising results in the labs, but the colorants are not effective enough to remove wastewater from the process, which renders the solution futile. And developing the right solvent was only the beginning of the efforts. Well, it took scientists about two years to figure out how to color these textiles without using water, but they spent eight years making it happen on an industrial scale. And these devices are key because they help to store and recycle the coloring agents, which are the main cost of the process. Currently, 99.4% of the coloring agents are reusable. Sustainability and smart production are key factors in the recent announcement of leading apparel brands and companies in Guangdong. This year, we identified a list of 67 leading companies. They cover consumer products, supply chain management and services. These are pioneers and role models. We hope they will continue to facilitate the industry's healthy and high-quality development and make significant contributions to the regional economy. China is continuing to detox the fashion supply chain, banning the use of certain harmful dyes. Last year, the central government called for an acceleration of that effort, including the introduction of green and low-carbon production while encouraging durability and reuse of textiles. It's hoped these colorful threads move the needle in cleaning up the fashion industry, not just in China, but around the world.